Finally, we round out our high school highlights from last night in boys volleyball, where Northampton faced Freedom in one of the marquee matches in the season's final week. The K-Kids and Patriots met back on April the 1st. That was a five-set thriller that went the way of Northampton. Both teams on the floor yesterday hoping to extend prolonged winning streaks. Cassie Schmidt was there to see who was able to keep the good times rolling. While the Pates were coming in winners of their last six, it's been 10 straight for the Concrete Kids, where they've yet to drop a set since their only loss of the season to Parkland back in early April. The momentum clearly on the home team's side to start. Some trickery early on from Keller Rapash. That'll make it 6-4 kids, a lead that will then extend to five off the kill from Dwayne Mills, giving Northampton a 10-5 edge. Rapash would continue his command at the net, the tip making it 22-16 as Northampton takes the first, 25-18 the final. While Freedom would control most of set two, it's the finish from Northampton that would make all the difference. Milnes with back-to-back -back points off the service. The ace will give the kids a 19-17 advantage. Jackson Fano led his team with 12 kills on the night. He'd have two big ones to help close out the second set, taking it 25-21. Northampton up two sets to none. Kids looking like they'd win it in three sets, especially early on. Alex Shonen not only giving the kids a 5-2 lead, that also marking his 500th kill for his career. But midway through, Freedom would go on a 9-3 run, capped by an ace from Eric Chen. That'll put the Pates in front, 16-15. Rapash will find the floor once again. That'll tie things up at 21. But Freedom will have the last word. Braden Urker makes it 23-all. The service from Chen makes it 24-23 Pates, and they'll take it 25-23 to force a fourth set. As expected, back and forth we go in the fourth, but still Freedom with the advantage down the stretch. They'll have him at game point twice, up 24-23 and 25-24, but kids able to rally and come back to take it 27-25 and the match three sets to one. Um, we just got to bring that energy better in the third set because we dropped our heads and we had no reason to. We were up to and we just can't get down ourselves. The win streak for Northampton stays alive, and even though they would drop their first set in 10 matches, that actually a bit of a blessing in disguise ahead of arguably their toughest matchup of the year against Whitehall on Wednesday. Just making sure that we're, we're staying together throughout the, the whole match. I mean, obviously, in, in that third set, we kind of dropped. So for Whitehall, we're definitely not going to be able to do that as we did in this, in this match. Um, and our servings as, as well, um, we got to work on our serves. We know Whitehall's going to bring it. It doesn't matter that it's our senior night. They're going to bring it, and they are, they're already scouting just like we're scouting them. So we know that going into it, we know what the matchups are going to look like, and we're confident with some of the matchups, but we also need we also know we need some uh, work on our defense, on some of our spots on defense and blocking. On the scene at Northampton, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the SC Network. Thanks a lot, Cassie. Jackson Fainel leading the way for Northampton with 12 kills and 16 digs, but really a balanced effort overall for the Concrete Kids. Six players finishing with at least six kills apiece last evening. Northampton now 16-1 overall with just that highly anticipated clash with Whitehall left on Wednesday. Freedom, meanwhile, now 12-6 on the year. Patriots will wrap their regular season Wednesday as well at rival Liberty. Hurricanes were also in action yesterday, falling in three sets at home against Easton. That's three straight victories for the Red Rovers and six out of their last seven as they move to 11-6 overall and 11-4 in EPC play. Whitehall remains atop both the District 11, 3A standings and the EPC standings after yesterday's three-set sweep at, uh, on the road at Pocono Mountain West. We already know K-Kids and uh, Zephyrs will meet on Wednesday in a huge match. The other big match, which we'll have for you live right here on SEN Wednesday night, is Parkland and Emmaus. Both of those teams, as you see, coming off victories yesterday. That's four wins in a row now for the Hornets. Ditto for the, the Trojans. All four of those victories for Parkland in short order have been three-set sweeps.